you study scriptures, you'll see the last days actually began on the day of Pentecost. You could say we're living in the last moments of the last days. If there's any particular strategy of Satan in these last days, that strategy is based on deception. A lot of deception, a lot of evil being presented as good, being talked about as good, being bombarded continuously with a narrative that this is right. For you to be deceived, it means you are not grounded in the light. Deception is always of darkness. So that means that somebody can present a false light to you because it looks like light and you will accept it as light because you are not grounded in the true light. There's a true light, there's a false one. So deception is based on light. False prophet doesn't mean he's prophesying something that is wrong, but it means that what he's prophesying does not support the truth. Somebody can tell you something about yourself and be a false prophet, but what the person told you about yourself is accurate, but they're false prophet because what they're pushing across, what they're promoting, does not support the truth of Christ. One of the things you have to look out for when it comes to the prophetic, you have to look out for the fruit of a, of a person's ministry. What is your lifestyle? You have to apply the lifestyle test because if someone climbs on the pulpit and displays all kinds of things, but gets up the pulpit and leaves like a crook, that person is false.